This podcast contains graphic descriptions that some listeners may find disturbing. Listener discretion is advised. All right, now, with that being said, welcome to the Mortal Musings Podcast. I was very upset this week. Oh, yeah, because it's November. It's November, and that means that I'm kind of, right, Christmas is coming. Let's start getting presents sorted. Let's start getting decorations sorted. Do not have an issue with getting presents sorted. Mm. Your presents already pretty much sorted. But you said next week you want to put Christmas decorations up. Yeah, ideally. There's a reason why people say 12 days of Christmas. 12th of December is when the tree goes up. Not before. Uh, definitely not in November. Just hang on. Are you actually going to look it up? 12th of December is when the tree goes up. And the other reason why I don't like November is I'm having to look like I've give up in life, sat here with a dressing gown on, because I just can't get warm. Tradition indicates that Christmas trees should be put up at the beginning of Advent, which begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas. Oh. When was that uploaded and by who? House Beautiful. And that was uploaded, sorry, last month, just over a week ago. Some prick. And according to Christmas traditions from another page, January 6th marks the day. That's not when you, what, you're going to put decorations up January 6th? There's one English page that says 12 days before. Yeah. There's a fucking well One theory, song. it could be because of the festive song 12 Days of Christmas by English baritone singer. Yeah. So, again, you're just going because of that song and because you're British. She goes again. Yeah. But again, right, like, I get if you don't want everything up that early, that's fine. But what is your issue? I'm not asking you to do anything. I want to put it up. I'm not asking you to... You don't have to be involved in any way if you don't want to be. What is going to upset you about a tree being in the corner and some, like, bunting? You're going to put the lights up outside. I'm not as bothered about the lights outside. But that's the best bit. But then you can set that up whenever you want to set it up. I will. Do you know when I will? Mm. 12th of December. Okay, it's a bit pointless, but okay. Right, just agree to disagree. So to to recap, Megan's a fool and I look like I've given up in my dressing gown. (laughs) Just, what have you got for us today? So today we're going to take a look at some last meals. All right? What do you mean? Last meals before someone's about to be executed. Oh, okay. Now, before we start, I just wanted to mention a photographer called Henry Hargreaves. And he has a site called No Seconds. Basically, what he's done is he's given like a little breakdown. So the name of the inmate, their age, location kind of thing, and what they had. And he's photographed that. He's done a, a... a series of photos that's just capturing what all these different people had for their last meals. It's really, really good. Okay. So go look that up. Now, first person we have on the list. hmm Robert Lee Massey. Now, he was age 59. Uh, method was lethal injection and was on the 27th of March in 2001 in California. His last meal was two vanilla milkshakes, extra crispy French fries, extra crispy fried oysters, and soft drinks. Doesn't specify. Now, out of 10, Neil. Pretty shit. Not about it. Four. Four. I'd say, I mean, I've never had fried oysters. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the oysters. Two. <laughs> Fucking two. I mean, I, I pretty much eat anything, don't I? I'll, I'll give it a... You wouldn't eat my sausage casserole? No, but that, that was sodium poisoning, so... <laughs> it was, that was a sure death, wasn't it? <laughs> well, the milkshakes... And all that, I mean, that adds it up, so I'm going to go for a seven. Okay. Douglas Franklin Wright. He was 56, method was lethal injection, and was on the 6th of September in 1996 in Oregon. His last meal was one honey bun. Fuck off. Yeah, one honey bun. I'm pretty sure they're like pretty common for, to get on commissary in America. Yeah. You always hear honey buns mentioned, don't you? Two out of ten. Fuck, pointless out of ten. Like, yeah, but you say that. He but could have got one off someone from the next cell. Could have, but maybe that's just what he fancied that day. Oh, okay. Like, you, you, you do you know what I would, if, if that's what he wanted, ask for 10. Ask for what, oh, what, yeah. one. I mean, well, he was about to be um, executed. Maybe he didn't have much of an appetite. 
Right. So moving on to one of the big boys, John Wayne Gacy. He was aged 54. Uh, method was lethal injection on the 10th of May in 1994. And that was in Illinois. His last meal was a dozen deep fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe Kentucky fried chicken, French fries and a pound of strawberries and also a bottle of Diet Coke. No, that's a good one. Um, four out of ten. I don't like KFC. Don't like KFC. But it's an American KFC. I, I bet it's it's shit. I, 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 right, if Americans add more and more shit into their food, that makes it taste better. Okay, hang okay, on. Okay. Right, so this is the woman who's saying KFC's shit. Horrible. I'll just let you know. She went into Burger King and got, did we, did we get six each or three, three each? Three each. Three rodeo burgers, which it's just a burger with, is it bacon on it? I think it had a uh, barbecue sauce and like an onion ring or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, look it. Here's the thing, right? I'm aware like, you know, Burger King, it's all shite. I know that. But the difference is, I don't think KFC tastes good at all. Like, it just tastes K- of salt. I felt sick after. Right. It was too much for me. The difference for me is, if I went to Burger King, McDonald's, or KFC, KFC, I can walk out feeling full and feeling like I've had a meal. Whereas when I go to McDonald's or Burger King, I could order everything off the menu. And if I fart, I'm hungry again. Yeah, but again, I'd rather walk out and still feel hungry than feel violently ill. I've never felt ill from Every KFC. single time. Because you love it so much, I've tried it a few times, and every single time I've walked out feeling horrific. Yeah, I, I, I like me a uh, boneless banquet. So I move on to the next one. John Martin Scribbs, and he was 36. Method was hanging, and it was the 9th of April, 1996, and it was in Singapore. His last meal was a pizza and a cup of hot chocolate. Now... There we go. I know what's coming. I love a hot chocolate and I love a pizza. They do not fucking go together. And I have a big fucking issue with this because Neil's always fucking having a cup of coffee with a meal and I don't understand it. I'm not talking about for breakfast where he has like some toast and a cup of coffee. I'm talking well, about... I don't you, eat toast. You will literally... You have done, right? You will literally sit there with a pizza. You could have a fucking takeaway and have a coffee with it. I don't understand. When have you ever seen me have a coffee? Are you trying to say you never have? I don't think I have. Bollocks. Don't believe you. Hand on Because that. you argue this with me all the time. I'm saying it's an odd combo. No, no, no. If I fancy a coffee, but like I could be having... Coffee's for after. I could be having a bacon sarnie or a sausage sarnie and I'll have a coffee. And you'll be like, no, no, no. Wait until after. No, if you're having like a breakfast sandwich, that's one thing. But if we're having like a I dinner... I think I have had a pizza and a coffee. That's outrageous. No, well, no. Each to their own. What are your rating is? I mean, independently. 10, but the combination together, if the hot chocolate was for after, you know. We'll and the hot know. chocolate in, uh, in jail? I've heard they're good. Pretty good. So next we have Herman Dale Ashworth, and he was 32 years old. Method was lethal injection, and that was in 2005 in Ohio. His last meal was two cheeseburgers with lettuce and mayonnaise, french fries with ketchup, one Dr. Pepper, and one Mountain Dew. Minus point off for Mountain Dew, it's fucking shit. Uh, well, I can drink it, I won't buy it though. I want to write home about is it? No. So next we have Billy Bailey, and he was 49 years old. Method was hanging, and that was in 1996 in Delaware. And he's actually the third person to be hanged in the US since 1965, and as of 2003, the last person to be lawfully executed by hanging. A little bit Wait, larger. they were still hanging, 96? Yeah. I didn't know they were still hanging people then. But like I said, he was only the third person since um, 65, so it wasn't like very common practice. How did they choose which type they're going to do? Um, sometimes they're kind of, I think it's given an option. Well, actually, um, there's someone on the list here that I'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think sometimes they're kind of either given the option or they can ask okay. for an option. I don't know if it's maybe usually default. Unless. I wouldn't pick hanging. No, I wouldn't. I think I'd go for... Um, Lethal injection. Yeah. That can still go wrong, though. So, William Bonin, he was aged 49. Uh, method was lethal injection, and that was in 1996 in California. I thought he was a pirate. No. Yeah, there was a pirate back in the day called William Bonin. Could have been. So his last meal was, and I think Neil will like this, at least the first part, 
two pepperoni and sausage pizzas, yeah. three servings of chocolate ice cream, and three six packs of Coca Cola and Pepsi. Three six packs. Yes. Fuck it up. I'll 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 say yeah uh, six out of ten. It's too much meat on the on the pizza. I'd say six out of ten. Shove the chocolate ice cream up your hole. Well, if you change it to like vanilla or something, I'd be bad about it. But no, I'm not really keen about chocolate ice cream. I'm not bothered about ice cream. It's too cold. <laughs> so John Louis Evans, he was age thirty three. Method was electrocution, and that was in nineteen eighty three in Alabama. His last meal was a shrimp dinner. That's it. Shrimp dinner. What does that mean? Like platter? I, 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 yeah, maybe, I assume. Or is it literally just shit tons of fucking shrimp and like some veg mixed in? I don't know. No idea. Now, getting on to the next one. This is what I said to you about um, the method. Mm-hmm. So, Ronnie Lee Gardner, he was 49. The method was firing squad. And this was in 2010 in Utah. What? Put firing up against the wall and shot. Firing squad, yep. Oh, I'd probably go with that. So, the reasons for this, it was religious reasons. Okay. Um, something to do with bloodshed. Um, yeah, he, he was basically just making a statement to do with it. But yeah, firing squad. I remember when I read that and I like literally like a double take, like, hang on, 2010? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, he had his reasons for it. Now, his last meal was lobster tail steak, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and 7-Up. And he also requested to watch The Lord of the Ring. <laughs> he requested... <laughs> he also requested to watch The Lord of the Rings film trilogy while he ate his meal. And he got it? Uh, as far as I know, yes. Yeah. That, I mean, they take fucking hours. Yeah. Um, just a quick one. You know when it's the last meal? Because you haven't said one yet with alcohol. Mm. Are they still not allowed alcohol? I don't think you're permitted alcohol, as far as I know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. So, Gary Ray Bowles, he was age 57, method was lethal injection, and this from the 22nd of August 2019 in Florida. His last meal was three cheeseburgers, french fries, and bacon. Sounds like my meal. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that I'm bacon. <laughs> just fuck a bit on the side there. So, like, do you remember... Uh... Last week or the week before, you came out and I'd got a bowl and I'd got eggs. Yes. What did I have in there? Just a bowl of eggs and meat. Shit tons of brown sauce. And meat. (laughs) (laughs) So next one is Ruth Ellis and she was aged 28. Method was hanging and this was in 1955 in England. And her last meal was scrambled eggs. Which I found funny doing this list because you've got some of these, like what was it, two six packs. Yeah. Of Pepsi and Coca Cola in America and the two fucking pepperoni and slash piece. And then you go to England's like, oh, I just have some scrambled eggs. So I don't know if I'd be a, a right bastard and, you know, try and be awkward and be like, right, I want fries from McDonald's. I want a burger from Burger King. I want a chicken select meal from KFC. Mm. I want, you know, just send them everywhere. There was actually, so in Texas, uh, they got rid of last meals. Because there was someone who massively took the piss with it. Because of people taking the piss, but as far as I know, after this guy did it, it was like final straw. <laughs> Which, fuck you, ruining that for everyone. What a piece of shit. What did he do? He, he ordered like a shit ton of food. Like, you know, excessive amounts. Yeah. And then I don't think he was like, he was like, kind of like, ah, I'm not even bothered. I'm not hungry. Fuck you. And it was like, you're costing people time yeah, yeah. and money. Like, fuck you. So, Bobby Wayne Woods, he was age 44, method was lethal injection on the 3rd of December 2009 in Texas. Two chicken fried steaks, two fried chicken breasts, three fried pork chops, two hamburgers with lettuce, tomato, onion and salad dressing. Four slices of bread, half a pound of fried potatoes with onion, half a pound of onion rings with ketchup, half a pan of chocolate cake with icing and two pitchers of milk. He went fucking all out. I was about about it. He's eating good. So James Edward Smith, he was age 37. Method was lethal injection. And this from the 26th of June, 1990 in Texas. A cup of yogurt. But he did initially request uh, a lump of dirt. It was a specific type of dirt. I'm not oh, going okay. to try and pronounce it. I, I 
as just make an absolute fuck of it. But yeah, his his lump of dirt was denied, so he accepted a cup of yogurt. No, I I feel we need more context. And what, what do you mean he wanted a lump of dirt to do what? I'm not sure if it was to do with um, voodoo, the actual lump of dirt, or if it was literally to eat it. I'm not quite sure. Okay. So next is Shannon M. Johnson. And he was age 28. The method was lethal injection. And it was in 2012 in Delaware. His last meal was chicken lo mein, carrots, cake, wheat bread and margarine and iced tea. See, I, I like when it's... You, margarine? Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing, you know, to go on his bread. So like chicken lo mein, grand, the cake, grand, bread and butter and a drink. It's the carrots. I love that. Same with the bacon guy. So yeah. like just fuck, I just, oh, I fancy a bit of that. Just fuck that on the side. <laughs> so next is Peter Curtin, aka the vampire of Dusseldorf. And he was aged 48. Method was guillotine. And it was on the 2nd of July, 1931 in Germany. As you could take a guess from his nickname. Mm-hmm. Wiener schnitzel, fried potatoes, and a bottle of white wine. He asked for a second helping and it was granted. Oh. Yeah. You all right? You were grinning a bit there. Wiener. <laughs> you caught me off guard mm. as well. So next we have Velma Barfield. And she was age 52. The method was lethal injection. And this was in 1984 in North Carolina. And she was the first woman to be executed by lethal injection. Okay. So she declined a special meal. And um, she had a bag of cheese doodles and a 12 ounce can of Coca-Cola instead. So she just went for a little snack, a little sneaky snack. So the next one, this is Joseph Arity. He was 23 years old. The method was gas chamber and was on the 6th of January, 1939 in Colorado. Joseph's last meal was ice cream, although Joseph did not finish his ice cream and asked if it could be saved for later as he didn't understand that he would not be coming back. So it's kind of... uh, Oh, kid. It's kind of a sad one. I think it's also important to note that Joseph Arity was pardoned in 2011 and we will definitely be covering this case at some point. Okay. Now, the next one. Mm. This is, uh, I saved the, the best one for last. Gary Carl Simmons, aka The Butcher. So he was 49 years old. The method was lethal injection and it was the 20th of June, 2012 in Mississippi. Now, this one's quite impressive, okay? Okay. It is possibly the biggest last meal there's been. 29,000 calories. Well, that's not hard to do in America. I'm going to need to, like, take a breath for this one. This is... That's, that's not... That isn't that difficult for America. It, it doesn't matter. Their food matter. is very high in calories. But, Neil, 29,000 yeah, for that one is, meal. <laughs> that's still... This, this, like, well, it's not one meal, is it? Are you ready? <gasps> there's no way yet at all. So, his last meal was... Pizza Hut medium, super supreme, deep dish pizza, double portion with mushrooms, onions, jalapeno peppers, and pepperoni. Pizza, regular portion with three cheeses, olives, bell peppers, tomato, garlic, and Italian sausage. 10 eight ounce packs of Parmesan cheese. 10 eight ounce packs of ranch dressing. One family size bag of Doritos nacho cheese flavor. Eight ounce jalapeno nacho cheese. Four ounce sliced jalapenos. Two large strawberry shakes, two 20 ounce cherry cokes, one supersized order of McDonald's fries with extra ketchup and mayonnaise, and two pints of strawberry ice cream. Now, there's no way at all that. And you're not, saying the other guy took the piss? Yeah, but come on. That's an absolute piss take. I, I think, as far as um, has been recorded, that's the largest one at 29,000 calories. <laughs> Fuck me. Greedy bastard. Well, the question is, what would you have? Now, the thing about it is, I said this to you before about a uh, last meal. For me, I mean, I like so much food. It would really depend on my mood. High chance would be pizza, maybe a bit of pasta. Mm-hmm. But um, right now, if you were to ask me right now, pizza and then some uh, caramel choo-choo ice cream. Yeah, the Ben and Jerry's ben one. Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No drink. Um, Pepsi Max. You would go for Pepsi Max for your last meal? Yeah, what's wrong with Pepsi Max? You drink it every fucking day. No, I don't. Well, when you... you... If I have pop, I have Pepsi Max, yeah. That's because I like it. See, for me, it's... 
I, I, I don't know how I'd go. So you know it's going to be your last meal. You know you're going to die. Mm -hmm. So like with me being on the carnivore diet, you know, I don't get to eat my breads and yeah. stuff like that. So I think mine would be more simple. It'd be a loaf of white bread toasted with Kerrygold butter. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say beer because I don't drink beer because I'm on that diet. But you said you can't. And I won't get non-alcoholic beer. It tastes like piss. Um, so for me drink, I definitely won't get milk. That's all I drink now. I don't know what, what I don't know what drink I'd have. Um, Shit loads of coffee. What about your ginger ale? You're loving ginger oh, ale. Oh yeah, I love my ginger oh, ale. Who loves it? That's that's like me. Do you know what you're doing right now? What? Tin of um. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the ginger ale. Yeah, so I I have that every now and again as a a, a cheat now. But yeah, or an iced tea. Mm. Definitely something to think about, isn't it? And then dessert. You know, I, I, I'm not that bothered about cakes and <laughs> ice creams. and I'm, I'm not really a dessert. Not, you've never been bothered about cakes. Profit rolls. I, 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 I Profit like, rolls, yeah. Yeah, them. I like, I like them. Yeah. So that'd be mine. You really went around, went, uh, around the houses there, toast, didn't you? Toast, butter, <laughs> ginger ale. For fuck's sake. For and toast profit and, rolls. Essentially, to say toast and butter. <laughs> yeah, so toast, butter, but it has to be Kerrygold butter, mm -mm. ginger ale. And profit rolls, if you were to ask me Final now. Final answer. If you were to ask me now. Yeah. And lethal injection. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I don't want lethal injection. If I can get shot against the fucking wall, shot against the wall. Why Why would you go for firing squad? Because with firing squad, do they have like, is, is it four or five people are going to be shooting at you? Like, you're not going to feel it. Yeah. So, so like, you've got the, you've got the anxiety of them aiming the guns at you and the man shouting you know, aim, fire. But I think it'd bother me more laid in the chair watching the shit go up the pipe. Yeah. You know, from the injection. I don't think I'd really... I think I'd... Lethal injection for me. I think shot. Go out with a bang. Yeah. Um. Now, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure in a dream about this before, it said the um, the men on the firing squad were um volunteers. That they volunteered to do this and, and it was kept kind of anonymous if I'm... And the other reason, right. if you've got four or five people executing you by, sh by shooting you, they're not all going to miss. Whereas there's been so many issues with lethal injection where they've given too much or not given enough and... Yes. Like, no I, good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go through that. There you mm -hmm. go. There's, um, there's a few last meals. Uh, we'll probably come back to this because obviously there's quite a few. We're going to do maybe kind of a, have it be sort of its own series, I suppose. Okay. Not quite sure when we'll get back to it, but there'll definitely be more of them. So um, we finish up on an oddity. Okay. Okay. So have you ever heard of Love Has Won? No. So I hadn't actually heard of them until very recently. They were a religious movement. and It's been described as a cult by previous members. Okay. okay, they usually are. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to kind of get into that today. What I want to talk about is their leader. Okay. So on the 28th of April in 2001, the body of Amy Carlson, who is the leader of Love Has Won, was found. Her corpse was mummified. They think that she had been dead for weeks at this stage based on the state of decay that the body was in. And her body, the way it was found, Neil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Her body was in a sleeping bag with Christmas lights draped around it. This is on trend for this episode, actually. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. Shit. That's how they're going to fucking find you. <laughs> so, yeah. In Show you putting Christmas lights up in fucking November. <laughs> yeah, so body found in the sleeping bag with Christmas lights draped around it. Now, I saw reports saying both, so I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. This is to do with eyes, okay? Just so you know. Yeah. Now. I knew it had been too long. <laughs> it was said that her eyes had been removed, but I'd also seen that because of, you know, over time they kind of deteriorated and kind of receded back. They may have still been there, but you just couldn't really see them. You know, they'd gone back into the socket a bit. Okay. Okay. Her face was also covered in glitter. So wrapped up, mummified, lights around her. Christmas lights. Christmas that. lights. 
And it said that the members of the group did this and they left her body there in this house in a shrine-like state. Seven people were charged with abuse of a corpse. They were also charged with child abuse because there was two children in the house where this body was. Yeah. So an autopsy revealed her cause of death to be chronic alcohol abuse, anorexia, and chronic colloidal silver ingestion. Okay. This group believed that colloidal silver was a cure for COVID-19. And that was something that they would promote. Yeah. See, you know, you were saying, um, but it were the worshippers themselves who killed her. Yeah. That kind of reminds me, I think you, you said, but we'll end up covering it. When I told you about the guy, he started a cult and he was telling people he was Jesus and he was shagging everyone's wives to impregnate oh, yeah, them yeah. with Jesus's. Quite a common thing. And they killed him. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the husbands well, that's, lost that's, it. That's the thing that makes that one kind of different is that they were like, oh no, fuck this guy. Um, yeah, so promoting that as a cure for COVID-19, no fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, it's also thought that she had died in California and that they had transported her corpse to Colorado where she was found. What sort of distance is that? I don't know. I have to look that up. Okay. America's fucking massive. So leading up to her death, her appearance had changed. She had lost weight, her hair was thinning, and her skin had a blue tone to it. And that's from the colloidal silver. Okay. Um, apparently within this cult, they would refer to her as Mother God. Okay. Another thing about her, which I just found funny because she's this kind of leader of a cult. And I think she's one of those who claims she's led like so many different lives. And she said she was like the reincarnation of X, Y, and Z famous people. Cleopatra being one of them. I'm not asking you. I, I don't know. Oh, I thought you'd got a list of people then. No, this is just an oddity. I'm not diving into it. Okay. But yeah, considering she was this, you know, religious leader. Mm-hmm. Do you know what her job was before she uh, became like a cult leader? Go on. She used to work at McDonald's. I just kind a of, lot of people do. There's nothing wrong there's with that. There's absolutely nothing, there's nothing wrong. wrong with that, Megan. There's absolutely nothing wrong with working at McDonald's. There absolutely is something wrong with leading a fucking cult. <laughs> okay. I just loved, I really loved the, the, the kind of the opposite thing of working for this big kind of corporation. Yeah. yeah. And now I lead a cult. Freedom. What's it called? Love is one. Yeah. So it's some fucking probably hippy dippy shite. Hippy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. So that's the end of it. And that's the end of it. We've done a little bit of uh, last meals and then a little uh, little look into a bit of uh, mummification. Lovely. Thank you for listening to the Mortal Musings Podcast. If you're interested in supporting the podcast and hearing extra content, subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash mortal musings podcast. You can also find us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Mortal Musings Podcast or email us at mortal musings podcast at gmail.com.